Tesla's $25,000 Model 2 Senior is finally here for 2026 using actual Starship tech, aluminum steel chassis, and heat-resistant composites straight from SpaceX. But what's shocking? Three radical upgrades no one expected. Ultra-wide door arcs, self-adjusting entry seats, and sensors built for aging drivers. Traditional automakers ignore seniors. Why is Tesla betting everything on the 65-plus demographic? What do they know that others don't? Let's dive right in. Here's where things get wild. Tesla's engineering team didn't just borrow concepts from SpaceX. They're literally adapting the same lightweight alloys and heat-resistant composites developed for Starship structure. Early supplier briefings reveal an aluminum steel hybrid chassis that cuts 90 to 120 pounds from the current Model 2 prototype. That's not a typo. While the Nissan LEAF manages maybe 30 pounds per update and Chevy's bolt replacement aims for 55, Tesla's doubling that reduction in one generation. Why does this matter for seniors specifically? Less weight translates directly into easier steering for drivers with shoulder mobility issues, smoother acceleration without jerky torque spikes, and more predictable braking on wet roads. These aren't marketing talking points. They're biomechanical realities for the 65-plus demographic. But here's the twist nobody anticipated. Those heat-dissipating composites around the battery enclosure? They're based on the exact same thermal management principles SpaceX uses to protect Starship during re-entry. For seniors in Minnesota, winters or Arizona summers, this means 7 to 11 miles of additional consistent range compared to standard battery packs. What's Tesla's real play here? Are they testing aerospace manufacturing at scale before rolling it out across the entire lineup? The safety implications get even more interesting. Tesla redesigned the crumple zones to redirect crash forces away from the cabin more effectively during angle impacts, the exact collision type statistically more common among older drivers with slower reaction times. Internal simulations show cabin integrity during side impacts now rivals the Volvo EX30, a significantly larger vehicle. They've also lowered the center of gravity by 0.3 to 0.5 inches through repositioned battery modules and thin-wall alloy techniques straight from SpaceX's playbook. That half-inch drop might sound insignificant until you're merging onto a highway in crosswinds. For seniors sensitive to body roll, this creates a noticeably calmer, more confidence-inspiring drive. Is Tesla quietly building the safest compact EV on the market while everyone else focuses on performance metrics? Most automakers slap grab handles on doors and call it senior-friendly. Tesla went full SpaceX engineering mode instead. The wide arc door mechanism uses hybrid hinge geometry borrowed from lightweight service panels on Starship. The result? Doors that swing 8 to 12 degrees wider than the standard Model 2 prototype. Here's why that's revolutionary. Try getting into a compact car in a tight grocery store parking spot when you're dealing with hip limitations. That extra arc means less torso twisting and a more natural forward step in motion rather than awkwardly lowering yourself sideways. Mexico Gigafactory Manufacturing Guidance shows they're dropping door sill height by 0.8 to 1.2 inches. The Nissan LEAF and Hyundai Kona EV sit at 10.5 to 13 inches, Tesla's targeting closer to compact crossover comfort while keeping the low-profile shape. But the real game-changer is inside. The front seat mounting rail features a forward tilt-assist mechanism that physically moves the seat outward and slightly upward during entry, then glides back once you're seated. This is premium SUV territory, 
Brands like Mercedes reserve this for $70,000 vehicles. Tesla's putting it in a $25,000 car. The system elevates just 1.5 inches and slides out 2 inches. But that reduces lower back compression significantly for the 55 to 75 age group. What's the catch? There has to be a cost somewhere. Either Tesla's manufacturing efficiency is light years ahead, or they're losing money per unit to capture market share. Which is it? Visibility gets a subtle but crucial upgrade. The A-pillars are thinner by 0.15 to 0.25 inches, thanks to those stronger SpaceX-derived alloys. For older drivers who rely heavily on clear sight lines during left turns, this measurably reduces blind spot obstruction. Combined with a raised eye point, 0.6 inches higher than standard, the Senior Edition feels more commanding without crossing into SUV bulk. Even the steering algorithm changed. Tesla's deploying low-resistance assist that reduces effort at parking speeds while maintaining highway feedback. It dynamically adjusts based on wrist torque and micro-corrections. For seniors experiencing arthritis or reduced grip strength, this could be the single most appreciated daily use improvement. Why aren't Toyota and Hyundai, who dominate the senior market, doing this already? This is where Tesla's strategy gets genuinely controversial. They're introducing a next-generation sensor array that combines vision-first processing with medium-range radar-detecting objects at 140 to 165 feet. This directly targets seniors struggling with depth perception at night or in rain. The onboard computer processes 18 to 25 milliseconds faster than the current prototype. That doesn't sound like much until you understand what it prevents. Sudden, jarring interventions that startle older drivers. Smooth, predictable corrections are everything for this demographic. Predictive lane assistance is the headline feature. Instead of reacting only to lane markings, the algorithm models upcoming curvature speed flow, and vehicle spacing up to 450 feet ahead. It makes anticipatory corrections rather than abrupt nudges. For seniors with slower reaction times, this creates a driving experience that feels collaborative rather than intrusive. Cross-traffic awareness got serious upgrades too. Side camera modules now capture 4 to 6 degrees wider giving better awareness when backing out of angled spots. Short-range rear radar optimized for speeds under 15 miles per hour can distinguish between shopping carts, cyclists, and approaching vehicles. This matters because parking lot incidents are among the most common fender benders for older drivers. Here's something brilliant. Tesla recalibrated warning tones to frequencies more detectable by aging ears. Hearing decline typically affects higher frequencies first, so standard alerts often get missed. This prevents missed warnings without creating overwhelming noise pollution. Safe Route Assist analyzes traffic patterns, accident history, and intersection complexity to guide seniors toward lower stress routes. Fewer aggressive stop-and-go zones, easier merges, less chaos. Meanwhile, the simplified auto park can identify suitable spaces faster and reliably handle spots as narrow as 7.8 feet. A significant improvement for drivers who avoid tight downtown lots entirely. But there's a deeper question lurking here. Why is Tesla the first major automaker to engineer specifically for cognitive and physical limitations of aging? The 65 plus demographic in North America is exploding. They have disposable income. They need reliable transportation. Yet legacy manufacturers treat them as an afterthought. What does Elon Musk see that Ford, GM, and Toyota are missing? Is this actually about seniors? Or is Tesla building the foundation for a fully autonomous fleet where human physical capability becomes irrelevant?
The senior edition might be a Trojan horse, perfecting assistance systems under the guise of accessibility before flipping the switch to full autonomy. The timing is suspicious, too. Tesla's been notoriously tight-lipped about the $25,000 car for years, then suddenly drops a senior edition packed with aerospace tech in 2026. That's the same timeline analysts predict for meaningful FSD breakthroughs. Coincidence? So here's exactly why Tesla's betting on the 65-plus demographic. They're not building a senior car. They're testing mass-market autonomy disguised as accessibility. Every sensor tuned for slower reactions, every predictive algorithm, every assisted entry. These are the foundation for vehicles anyone can use safely, regardless of physical ability. This is the masterstroke. While competitors chase younger buyers, Tesla's solving the hardest problem, making advanced tech genuinely usable for everyone. The SpaceX crossover proves aerospace engineering can scale to $25,000 EVs. If Starship materials work here, what's next? Production starts mid-2026 at Gigafactory Mexico. But watch what happens. If this succeeds, expect these technologies in every Tesla model. Maybe even licensed to competitors already years behind. Here's my question. Is Tesla disrupting the senior market or using seniors to perfect technology will all depend on in 10 years? This is tech revolution. We dig past headlines into what breakthroughs actually mean. The automotive industry just changed. Most people haven't realized it yet. The wait is over. Tesla's 2026 Model 2 just launched with seven exterior upgrades, all completely free, whether you buy standard or premium. Dust guard wheel arches slash mud buildup by 80%. Multi-zone sentry lights cut parking lot incidents by 50%. Heat reflective coating drops cabin temps by 7 degrees Celsius under scorching sun. But here's what's truly shocking. These aren't luxury add-ons. They're standard on every Model 2. Why would Tesla give away technology that could easily justify a $3,000 package? Let's dive right in. The first upgrade tackles something most EV makers completely overlook. Wheel housing buildup. Every winter, Every rainy season, mud and snow pack into your wheel arches like concrete. Efficiency drops, wheels get heavier, and you're hosing out frozen chunks every weekend. Tesla engineered a hybrid polymer liner with a friction coefficient of just 0.05 to 0.12, three to six times slicker than conventional materials. Above 35 miles per hour, Wave pattern structures inside create mechanical oscillations that shake debris off automatically. No motors, no electronics, pure physics. The numbers are striking. Mud buildup drops 60 to 80 percent. Snow accumulation falls 70 to 90 percent. And wheel housing noise decreases 2 to 4 decibels. Rolling resistance improves enough to add 0.5 to 1.5% range, potentially 10 to 15 extra miles over a year of winter driving. You'll cut underbody washes from six times yearly to three or four, saving $200 to $300 over five years. If this technology is so effective and simple, why aren't competitors copying it? That question leads directly to Tesla's second innovation multi-zone sentry lighting that prevents incidents before they happen. Traditional sentry mode records vandalism after damage is done. The Model 2 stops